Oh, I'm gonna get that. Okay. 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 Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you kind of do actually. No, I don't. That's like a that's like a thing you're required to do for driving. Nah, never look back. Eyes on the road, forward, all the time. That's, Sorry, I was that's late. Not, nah, it's all good. It's completely my fault. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Smelly bastard. Although man. I was, this is the first time that I've like ever been in the front seat for a draft house drive. Ever. It's because it's because we were waiting on you and I was just already in here just but chilling. But Casey, do you want to see what I got? <laughs> Flex on hose. Ooh. Flex on hose. Ooh. Okay, wait, 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 is this like? Wait, what's so? What's the difference between this and like a regular magic card? It's shiny. Is that it? It's, it's, yeah. It's a so will, color. will it evolve into a, a shiny red Gyarados business? Oh, it evolve into a red Gyarados. Ooh, God damn right. Very nice. Okay. How many? On how many stars do? You, how many like candies do you need to evolve it or like? Four hundred. How many? And what sucks is I have? just evolved the magic card into a Gyarados. That's okay. Oh, well. <sighs> I honestly like the magic card more than the red Gyarados. That yeah. is a nice color. They had yeah. an episode of Pokemon about the red about uh, gold magic card. Really? Yeah. They acknowledge shinies in that in the TV show? Every now and then. Huh. They had a shiny Halucha in one episode. Wasn't it? Who was the was it Christy? Who Misty? Was, Misty, yeah, it was Misty. Christy. <laughs> wasn't it wasn't it Misty that had a, a red Gyarados in like the show? No. Nobody had a red Gyarados in the show as far as I know. You sure? She had a yeah. Togepi. I'm sure. I'm sure no one had a red Gyarados. Somebody had a red Gyarados. No. no. At some point in the show, somebody Not had a Not in the original sure. series. I'm I'm pretty sure there was. I Not don't think so. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll take your, your guys' word for it, but I feel like there was, though. Mm, I'll, no. I'll, I'll take your word for it. I'll, I'll, I'll see this argument. I'm not gonna... I'll see that. I am yeah. a Pokemon master. That's true. If yeah, anyone's gonna know that. about it, it's Brett. Yeah, that's yeah. true. 100%. Pokemans. I know all. There's a giant glob of bird shit on your back. That's not surprising. And it's right on the side. It's like on the like, Is it really? Yeah, it's like right here. I'm not window. surprised. Oh, really? Right there. I've literally never seen it that. It looks like someone <laughs> spit a milk dud on you. <laughs> or a whooper. A whopper? A whopper? What a, no, the, like the, the They're candy. called whoppers. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, it looks like someone spilled a milk dud right there? No, spit. Spit a milk dud? Yeah, no, I, I well, milk duds, myself as milk, milk duds are like whopper. hard. Milk duds are like hard to like chew onto. Now you just suck them. All right, yeah, fair. There. Let's yeah. suck them balls. Balls! This dumbass didn't know what smoking penis meant. Who? This Me. One? I didn't. I, Is that because said, you smoke penis? He said no. He said smoking penis. He said your phone. Sm okay, because the phone that I have. The phone was right acting now, right? up. It's acting Shit. up, and he was like, "Your phone's smoking penis," and I'm just like, "I'll." I, I'm trying to think of a way where that makes sense, but it just didn't, right? And then he was just like, it's like you got a cigarette, but instead of a cigarette, it's, it's a penis, penis, right? It's a dick. So it's like, you're, you're like, you're like sucking a dick, except you're smoking a penis. And yeah. I'm just like... You're smoking penis. Alright, okay. I don't... Inhale dong. Inhale dong. Mm. Exhale cum. What did you guys do in the past 24 hours since I last saw you? Worked. <laughs> nothing. L literally nothing. Yeah. Started I'm, a new Weeaboo game on my Vita. It's been good. I'm actually 100 pages into Artemis. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and it's it's all right. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's, it's yeah. It's nothing. It's Question: just Do either of you have my volume of Saga Nine? I think uh, he does. I gave it back. At least I thought. I don't have it, so I need to. I. I it, it may be in my room somewhere. I'll double check. But if not, then someone has it. Well, I. I gave it to you at my party, and then I'm pretty sure you immediately gave it to Brett. Yeah. To I know I had yeah. it last. Yeah. I think I gave it back. I don't know. Is, it, it, is it in my back seat? Not that I can see. I would have uh, sat on it. Maybe. I'll have to take a look because I'm pretty sure I gave it back. Because I don't know where it is in my house, so I'll just I'll just double check, but it's not anywhere that I can see. Okay. I know I definitely don't have it. Yeah, I know so, you don't have yeah. it. I know I remember Brett taking it and then I don't yeah. know where it went after that. Okay. I'll have to take a look. Yeah. And obviously I don't have the pops I was gonna say I got because like I just went straight to your yeah, house. Yeah, that's cool. You can you can send them to me, send me a picture of yeah. can, do you work tomorrow? Uh, yeah, but not until like two o'clock, so okay, I'll, yeah. I'll have time that day. Just because you don't really need to unload them. You can either send me a text message with all the names or just I'll send you a text message with all the names so okay. I wanna take a picture of everything. Because <laughs> uh, yeah. I've been meaning to sort through that and see what 
I wanted to keep and what I want to get rid of anyway. Okay. We. Oh, I also I also saw Cafe Society, the the Woody Allen movie that came out a couple years ago. I haven't seen it. Yeah. I have not. I don't think I've ever watched Woody Allen. Really? Yeah. It's, it, that yeah. movie. That movie particularly is just is it's it's all right. It's he easy. married his like yeah daughter. He I think I think he married his yeah he married his stepdaughter. Um, and I think they initially met when she was 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think it was some weird shit like that, yeah. That's bizarre. Yeah. At least it's not blood related, but still you. Yeah, it's still, it's still very weird, yeah. I don't know, my, my dad's a big Woody Allen fan, so I saw it with him. But yeah. My dad's just a big Woody. There you go. Hey, there it is. Because he's stiff. Yeah. <laughs> Actually dead to you, and then like actual, de actually dead for Brett, and then like dead, dead to you, to me, dead yeah. to you. Yeah. I figured I'm, that I'm, was the I'm, case, I'm, Quentin. I just didn't want to ever bring it up. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, Thank I'm, you. I haven't spoken to him since uh, I moved from the big house to the second house. Uh, right. So if you guys, I, I think I'll get out at the next light, and then I'll just take an Uber to the to the draft house, and I'll just meet you guys there. Why? You don't I'm wanna, sorry. I didn't. This was, you don't want to talk about the dead dance this club? Took, this took. This took a very. <laughs> It's like, a very dark turn that I wasn't expecting. I feel I'm like so sorry. Like Dead Poet Society, but you know. Dads. Yeah, Dads. <laughs> I don't. Why I don't. Oh man. <laughs> oh Jesus. You know the most fucked up part about my dad, what? like my dad being dead, is oh. that he's six feet under, right? But yeah. like, he's six foot ten tall. So if we like stood at his coffin at like a ninety degree angle, his head would be sticking out of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he was actually 6'10"? Yeah. Really? That dude is a fucking Damn. absolute unit. Yeah. He's right. really tall. What the fuck? Yeah, and I'm a fucking shrub because my mom's shorter than, like, like, well, I mean, she's like 5'5", five five, I think. Yeah. But still, it's like, everyone in my family, obviously my immediate family, is shorter than me. Okay. So it's real fucking funny because my little brother Nicholas, he's always trying to say, like, man, I will grow a foot in the next year. Just you wait. Boy, <laughs> you 18. <laughs> you sit your dumb ass down. Wait, Nicholas is 18? Yeah, he's a fucking midget. <laughs> I think, no, I think you can still get a growth spurt up, until, yeah, like, like, up man, until like maybe 22-ish. I grew an inch, so I'm officially 6'1 now. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Hey. Really? Yeah, I was I was six foot when they took my driver's license picture. Yep. And now I'm six one. Yeah, but I got yeah. measured by a doctor too, so they know what they're doing. Yeah, same here, bro. It's like we're the same person. I hate that. I mean, you, first you guys we got, essentially first are. we grew an inch in the same period of time. Second, we got dead dads. I mean, bro. <laughs> I got a I got a 22 year head start on yours though. Yeah, that's Holy true. Holy shit. <laughs> So Casey, how are you doing? Uh, 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 <laughs> wow, we're we're gonna go see a Disney movie. We're talking yeah, about I, dead parents. I God damn yeah, right, we are. I mean, yeah, but I think what? this is the best intro episode we've ever done. <laughs> I, the best shit, top tier quality um, right here, man. I think I think I'm gonna skip the movie for tonight. If you just wanna like let me out, I'll just walk back to my You're house. Not allowed to. I'm I'm just gonna shut up, nerd. I'll take an Uber back. Dead shut dads too. Brett breaks Casey. Uh, the drive brings uh, the Casey. Oh god. So in this one, are we gonna see Wreck It Ralph show his big titties? Yes. Probably. Yeah. I'm so excited for a John C. Riley movie! You know, it, um, th there's no way that like a Photoshop picture of Wreck It Ralph with big titties doesn't exist somewhere on the internet. Oh, no, there's gotta titties. be. Yeah. Isn't that like one of the, isn't, isn't that, what's that rule where it's like, if, if something oh, exists, there's 34. one of it? 34. Yeah, okay. And there's also Rule 63, which, like, says that if something, if a character exists, there exists, like, gender-bent artwork of it. Yeah, yeah. So, like, there's gotta be, like, Lady Ralph. Like, Lady Ralph. 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 Yeah. Probably is. What's the lady name for Ralph? Huh? Like, what's the, what's the, like... Rhonda? Rhonda. Rhonda. What the fuck? Wreck-It Rhonda? Yeah. Wreck-It Rhonda. I can get, I can get behind that. I can get behind that. Yeah. It. It's kinda of catchy. Cause I don't, I don't think Rachel is close enough. Nah, it's not. Wreck-It Rachel. Ronda's pretty good. Yeah, Ronda's good. Right yeah. Were you looking up Wreck-It Ronda? 
about the fan no, art earlier. No, you no, sure? I'm, play, I'm playing on my Simpsons game. Oh, you're gonna see Rhonda Wiggums. Is that actually her name? Fucking Ralph Wiggum. Rhonda Wiggum. Oh, I thought you meant that was the mom's name. You stupid. No. I, that is a very. I think it's Nancy. It's a justifiable thing. What's Chief Wiggum's name? Wait, Chief, dumb. You just Fucking said Chief. it. No, well, I guess it's his first bitch. name. Wait, Chief! Where's, where's Chief Wiggum's from? The, the Simpsons. Simpsons. Yeah, she's like... Field. Uh, I haven't seen enough of The Simpsons to like... Hey, he's like that. He's like that. Yeah, I, 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 I know you're... Officer. I, I'm aware of who you're referring his to, but I don't... Name is I don't know enough about the character to be able to tell you what his first name is. I think it's Clancy. It's Clancy. Chief. I think I actually think it's Clancy. <laughs> Oh my god, Clancy. Hey, is there a phone charger in here? Yeah, I wasn't. I, I got you, homie. Cross his. Is it long? My, my dog, uh, bitch. Yeah, you know, I actually, forward. I actually wasn't aware that you were allowed to be, um, named Clancy. To be named Clancy if you weren't a 19th century English butler. I mean, dude, you know? there's like Tom Clancy who's like responsible for like really pulpy novels and a kind of. I don't know who that the is. Hunt for Red fucking, October. Yeah, and like oh, a really? bunch of like really weird video game series. The uh, Rainbow Six Vegas. Yeah, like Rainbow Six. Uh, Ghost what's, Recon. That's what I was gonna say. I was like that one with the gate. The guy has the green eye that's a laser. That's Winter Cell, actually. Damn it! Ghost Recon something, but yeah, Tom Clancy was someone responsible for Winter Cell. They're still releasing games. Like Rainbow Six Siege. He's still releasing books too. He's dead. Exactly. What? Well, did he just have a lot of stuff that wasn't published in the Probably. Probably. Getting published, yeah. I mean, that dude, I've seen so many books by him, it's like, whoa. 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 He just really likes the military. I finished the Stephen King TV show. It's done. Eight episodes. Quick. Fast. Done. Thank you for the insight. Wait, well, which, which TV show? The, the 11263. Oh, yeah, with James Franco? Yeah. Yeah, how was it? The book was better. Nah, they they did put some changes into it that threw me for a loop that I actually very much enjoyed, but the book was better. Yeah. As always, because they just it's just a lot more fleshed out. Yeah. Yeah. I like flesh. Yeah, there's, there's, there's you don't always... like books because you don't like words because you're fucking illiterate. I like flesh, though. That has nothing to do with books. Yay. Give me meat. Beef. We were actually just talking about, like, illiteracy right before you came in here. Yeah. Yeah. About his illiteracy? No, just about illiteracy in general. general. There was, there was that one thing, what, what was, it wasn't the word, what was it? It wasn't aphasia. It like wasn't aphasia, no. It's like, it's like a brain injury where you can't see words no more. Is that yeah. what you have? Yeah. 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 Also, we need to remember, uh, it goes Casey, Brett, uh, no, Brett, Casey, and then me. In terms of what? In terms of seating arrangement. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 my hair right now. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I actually can't. Oh. Damn. Because I'm doing it. God damn right. I can see it. I can see the disrupting hair. I mean, his hand's on the other side, but I, I know that, like, like this isn't naturally a, a comfortable position. Especially while you're driving. driving. Yeah. Yeah. With yeah. other people in the car. Yeah. We gonna be die. Yes. Very die. Very <laughs> die. I mean, we've, no. we've, we've been in worse car situations. That is yeah, we true. Have. Like, I mean, well, you almost killed us like yeah. four times, Casey. When, yeah. That was just. And that was, and that was, yeah. And that was just. And that was in a nice car. Not even to mention all the times we were in my fucking Avalon. Smart car cast number uh, one. Where could you shit in my toilet? Yeah. The one time. You Casey, shit did you my see toilet. the text message I sent the group last night? About the director of fucking Creed being yeah, I did see that. Cleveland. I did see that, and <laughs> I I no longer enjoy that movie anymore. Cause see, I watched Get I watched fucked. a review by uh, by Chris Stuckfield, Stuckman. Was, is that he, the director? He's, no, he's he's just a movie reviewer. Okay. And he's it's Stuckman, and he's like he's like hey, I, and I just wanted to see what he gave it like in terms of score. So okay. I fast forward to the end. And the only sentence I hear him say is, I'm so glad the director's from Ohio. And I'm like, fuck you, Brett. <laughs> Wait, why was he glad that the director was from Ohio? Because he's from Ohio. Uh, Yay. Fuck you, Brett. Fuck Yay. You. Get dicked. Smoke penis. Inhale pee pee. <laughs> Slurp the dog. Slurp nuts. Slurp nuts. Wee. Slob on me knob. Honey, honey, honey. Slob on me knob. Pass me some shrimp. Fuck you on the car. Bloody, daddy, da. Motherfucker, blunt. Chitty, chitty, bang. Murder everything. Is that what he actually is saying? Yes. Like, that's fucking. It's even dumber than I thought. Yeah. Which I'm on roll. I can't remember the rest of it. Are you butter? No. But I, I, I got scoliosis because I swear 
said you were on a roll. Why aren't Same you boobs. Are you jelly? Same boobs. You jam. Same boobs. I hate you. Same boobs. I'm gonna fucking. I bite called your Brett off. at one point. I called him. I was like, "Hey, you busy?" He's like, "Well, I'm, I'm just sitting here, but I'm not doing anything. What's up?" And I call him, and I just go, "Same boobs," and then I hung up. Yeah, same boobs. Same boobs. There's a song from Migos featuring okay. Drake called "Walking Talking." Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And there's a line that says, uh, "She got a new ass. We got the same boobs." Same, same boobs. boobs. And, like, and he goes like this. Same boobs. Same, same boobs. boobs. Okay. Yeah, I've never actually listened to that song. I should bad. see like you need like, you so need weird. to see the rectangle me and Brett sent each other. Where what? it says same boobs across all oh, directions. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it being starts and ends in the same letters, so you can like make right. a perfect fucking rectangle with it. Oh, Wait, so it's like same boobs and then like yeah, the like, S's the S's are like the quarters. Yeah, yeah. and then it goes down both sides right. and then it makes same boobs across okay. the bottom as well. Naturally. And if you do it right, you can make two diagonals. Same boobs. <laughs> Come on, say it with me. Same boobs. No. Same boobs. Quentin, please stop. Being in the backseat changes you. Yeah, it makes me a little bit more special. I told you it's not yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Because then I'm between you both. I'm about to make me. I'm about like to make this a police car and just put you behind a mesh. You should have turned on the child lock. <laughs> Left just, me in here. I think I will. For the ride back, and I could snake my way out the back, out of your exhaust pipe. You do I'll, that on a nightly basis. I don't no, know what the fuck you're talking about. I'll start. I'll slide into the air conditioning unit right there, swirl through the engine, then go out the exhaust pipe. That's not how it works. That's how it works, Brett. No, it don't doesn't. you know? I mean, that's how it works. I don't think you know how cars work, Quentin. Dude, do you remember what car I drive? You don't understand how cars work. That proves that how much I know about cars. Because <laughs> I drive a smart car. I know you put in the zoom juice and you go, and that's about it. Yo, zoom juice. Zoom, zoom juice. juice. Dino sauce. Dino sauce. <laughs> oh, man. Fun fact most gasoline isn't actually made of dinosaurs, it's just like algae. Is it made out of megalodon sharks? No. No. There's like no animal life in gasoline. Aww. It's like mostly plant matter. Really? Yeah. Like super compressed plant matter. Wait, so then, d so at what point does it like not become a non-renewable resource? Because like, aren't, aren't plants a renewable resource? Yeah, but it's like technically renewable on the scale of millions of years. Yeah, I was but, gonna say. Ah, uh, yeah, fair. But at like the rate we've been going. Yeah, that's fair. If we use them, yeah. it will be renewable. It's not renewable. Any, like, okay, yeah, fair. Any, any, I didn't know. Mm. <sighs> Maybe yeah. that's what's gonna make us start making more plants. Is we'll just we'll make a device more that, plants. that squishes all the plants and makes them into gasoline, <laughs> and then boom, it's unlimited gasoline. We we're kind of doing that already with ethanol fuels. Exactly. It's not gasoline. It's ethanol. I'm never sending in the front seat again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you. Go back to the front seat for this the ride back. Nope, I have to sit in the back seat for both no, rides now. Why? Why? Because Symmetry. That's how that's not... it works. No, it, it, that's how what works. That's like, how we work. No, no, literally no. Also, I've never... I'm having so much fun back here. I enjoy it. Quentin, I'm getting the vibe that you're manic Kanye, and I'm just kind of low-key, somewhat depressed Kid Cudi right now. I don't know why. We're oh, having you, a very I thought you said I was right mad now. at Kanye. No, I was like, manic. I'm not mad. At, well, I am kind of mad at Kanye because he didn't release fucking Yandi. Yandi. But yeah. Has he said anything? No. He just like tweeted. He it said he's out. gonna work on it more, and then we don't fucking know when it's gonna come out. Hmm. Yep. It'll be Black Friday next year. I doubt it. He just said Black Friday, right? He didn't specify a year. Well, no, he didn't say Black Friday. His wife, His wife said Black Friday. Oh. He didn't With say like a shit. million fucking emojis. Yeah, she's like, Black Friday! <laughs> Wait, and was that sp specifically, like, related to Ye? Yandi. What to is Yandi? Yandi, okay. I What's thought, a I thought Ye? It was, I mean, I there already is an album named Ye. Yeah, yeah, but it's not Ye. Uh, my, my bad, I didn't, I didn't realize. Why? To Yandi. Was that specifically related to Yandi? Was she like, oh, yes. Yandi's coming out on Black Friday this year? She did say his album, Kanye's album. Oh, okay, all right, album. okay. Well, did she specify which Black Friday? She could have just said, like, a Black Friday at some point. But no, even when it came closer to Black Friday, he was like, nah, I'm going to work on some more shit. Okay. Uh, 
What's what's Kanye been up to these days? Oh, Casey. Just, I'm working. Uh, to... Well, don't even get me started. So, so last night I think I left my headphones inside the glove box. Can you check if they're in the glove? Bitch, box? I already, I already got them. He already got yeah, me. Yeah, buddy. He already got, got me. Got his he ass. already got me. It's not like <laughs> so now it's yours. You have like, to hide it for one of us. I know. I know. It'll the time will come. I got his ass so easily with that. The Thank you so much. He's like, oh yeah, can you grab this thing yeah. for me? And I was just like, yeah. That's what sure. it was. I was like, can you like grab that for me? I that was, was such a there. plausible like excuse too. Oh, I forgot it was Jesus. in there. That's a nice one. <laughs> Fucking good. I had Thai food and that burp hurt my body. <sighs> I need to spit. Well, the thing is, the rules are well. Do never mind. The, it's... D- no stains on that. Oh, have you already like given up on that rule? Well, I was thinking like you have to like. No, not, not the no about stains. The note. I'm talking about the note. I, I thought the rules are like I have to pass it to Casey, Casey has to Quinn, and Quinn has to pass it to me. No, it's Which whoever can, gets got. But the thing is yeah. that you don't get somebody who's already been gotten that same day. Like it's been like a couple days, then yeah, you can get the person who got you. Yeah. Okay. But it's so, like not the same day. So so I could I could potentially it's not gonna happen tonight, but I could potentially get got Quentin, but yeah. I can't get got you. Exactly. Okay. All right. You know like, what you could do, Casey? What? Is you could just put it back in his glove box and then not say anything, and that could get either me or him in the next week. Yeah, but now that you've said it. Now that also, said it, yeah. uh, next week the favorite comes out, but it's only at Cedars, so Wait, I don't know go? what the favorite is. Ooh, that's okay. The one, yeah, that's the one. That's the one directed actually, by the guy who did uh, uh, the Lobster. Hmm. It's the old English one with Emma Stone. Yeah, it's Emma Stone, and it's also with. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. very. I'm. I'm honestly uh, just because it's Yarkos. I want to see Yarkos yeah. movies. I'm actually a big fan of the. What's her, I think the lobster. No, her last name is Coleman. She's one of the actresses. Oh, the queen. Gary yeah, Coleman. Yeah, yeah. No, her, the, I forget her name. Gary Coleman. Isn't that the grill guy? What? Yeah. Gary Coleman. Or is that Gordon? Oh, Cole? you're thinking of. No, Gordon Cole is the is the is the, is the, one of the is David Lynch. You're thinking of George Dick. Foreman. George Foreman. That's George like, uh, Foreman. Who is Gary Coleman? I think he's the small boy. Gary Coleman? The word yeah. linkage reminds me of sausage. We're gonna go see Wreck-It Ralph. Bye. Bye! Cast time! Yeah. Wreck-It Ralph 2. Ugh. Ralph goes to Pornhub. <laughs> 17 out of 20. Oh this is a case of ramen. No, that's not you. Nah, were... it's not ramen. I have cum on my pants. When don't you have cum on nah, your pants? Nah, I, I spilled milkshake and it just feels <laughs> like cum. It feels like dry cum. Say like it better not be. This is your cum better not have the thickness of a milkshake. That ain't healthy. I was gonna ask you guys to touch it earlier, but then I was like, nah, I ain't touching your jizz. A too far. I give this movie a B. I pre yeah, are it. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, yeah. Wasn't as good as the first one. Had some decent humor for relying a little bit on the memes, but yeah. it comes a bit with the territory. Mm-hmm. One, Can't say I didn't expect it. One question is: Was the first director Ralph? Was that the first solo Disney 3D animated movie? Without Pixar, because no. I thought it was. No, I think Tangled. I think Tangled was. Tangled was. Okay. Tangled came yeah. before that. Oh yeah, my god, I love Tangled. Yeah, it was good. Tangled's amazing. I love that movie. It's a fucking uh, gay it's my favorite. It's my favorite princess movie. Oh my god, yeah. No, but, I mean not, not my. Well, favorite, I did watch probably. Aladdin the other day. Probably, probably not my favorite too. princess movie. Yeah, because you're fucking king of yeah. bullshit. Yeah, I just got to the Agrabah level. I'm like, shit, I gotta watch Aladdin now. <laughs> Is that what you're gonna do with every like every I legit? Like, like, every that. time like a Disney yeah. reference pops up, I'm like, I don't know, fucking watch that. I movie thought now. you said Aristocats for a second. I was like, no. there's an Aristocats level to fucking no. Kingdom Hearts. No, there's, there's 101 Dalmatians appear in the in there, and I gotta watch that movie, but there's not a level to it. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna listen like Disney is gonna listen to this podcast, and they're gonna be like, oh, we gotta add an Aristocats level like, to Kingdom level. Hearts three. Mm-hmm. It's what? Cancel in the Wreck-It Ralph world. We're adding in to Aristocats. Aristocats. Aristocats and the Black Cold. And everyone's yeah, favorite yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I did like Aristocats, but I, like I was also dumb yeah. and impressionable. I, but yeah, like I said, give this movie a B. Not as good as the first one. Yeah. Had some good moments. It was a nice story about. It was a nice story. Yeah. Had like, a nice message about friendship. Yeah, like I said, for me, there was like one. There was like a couple scenes that made it worth the price of admission. But mm-hmm. that's, that's about all I gotta say. Same. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. okay. Yeah. So we're all in agreement. Like B. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Like it's I mean, not C. I mean, it's you, I was entertained. I mean, you kind of you kind of know what you're like expecting when you go into it. Yeah, yeah a bit. Yeah, a bit. There it was... did. It did have like it did have some meta moments, which I kind of appreciated. But um, there's one in specific that I actually very much enjoyed. Yeah. Um, we'll do the spoilers. Yeah. 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 I think I, I think I know which one it is. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's a 3D animated Disney movie. 
yeah. um, a sequel to Wreck-It Ralph. Like, you kind of know what you're getting into. You, you know it's not going to be like like Citizen Kane, but you also know it's not going to be something really, really awful like the Greasy Strangler, you know? I mean, so, hey, that's uh, high hey, art. Hey, you, just, you just said you just the same movie it. twice. The hell are you talking Shut about? You said Greasy Strangler two times. Shut the fuck up. Uh, Citizen Kane is the Greasy Strangler of the 1940s, the 30s, or whatever that came out. Whatever. Anyway, so, yeah, spoilers and right about now. Yeah. No What's countdown. Fuck you. The Stan Lee cameo? No, there was a Stanley no. cameo. There was a Stanley cameo. It was when she. Great. It was when she was in Disney one, area. It was oh when, yeah, yeah, I it was figured it was like during that. And she said, "Oh, sorry, Mister," and like she ran into a user, and then the user turned around and it was Stanley. Ah. Uh, yeah. No, my favorite part, without a doubt, because Brave was by Pixar, right? Yes. Okay, that's uh, why. That was, was like, pretty she's from, the she's from the other studio. studio. I was like, yeah. ah. Yeah. 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 To be fair, I think that was in the trailer though, which is why that one land hard to me. I didn't. I don't remember. Honestly, like that whole like Disney. Princesses bit and like everything they did with them in this movie was that that honestly just made it. You do realize why they did that, right? Why? To sell Disney princess yeah. toys again. Oh yeah. Because they, they went for a while where they're like princesses aren't a thing anymore. So what did they do? They made them basic bitches and now they're gonna sell a bunch of toys. Yeah, because like those outfits were super cute and I loved it. God damn it, Brett, you're buying into it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I am a sucker for this, you are okay? You're fucking kidding me. They're cute ladies, cute, they they were, they were, they were cute they ladies and cute outfits. They were. They were, though. They were cute ladies and cute outfits. Also, also Shank, Gal Gadot's like, character. Yeah. Like, Shank I don't is know dope. I don't know if it's weird for me to call like a 3D animated character sexy. It God never damn. is. It you are in sexy. a car with Weep Man and sexy. Titty Boy. <laughs> Gal, Gal Gadot is sexy both like 3D animated and in real also, life. Also, Brett, what was the game that you ordered that you were, so you were going to tell me yeah, about? Yeah, I have to tell you about it after the cats. You, That's you, not safe for work. I ain't going to tell you about porno you, games. Do, do we need to start talking about what the first half of our podcast was about? No. The, hashtag Dead Dead Club. Hey, that's just sad. This is sad in a different way. <laughs> okay. I want people to pity me, not look at me in disgust. <laughs> but no, like, honestly, they're like... That and like the whole like all of them collaborating on their like abilities together to like save Ralph. That, that was pretty cool. Like the whole thing, like just involving Disney Princess was cool. Like if honestly if they just made it like Ralph breaks Disney instead of the internet, I would have loved it. Like just make yeah. it like Ralph like the default like oh this is like the crossover franchise for Disney. Like that would have been cool, but it's just like the whole thing with the internet either felt too corporate or like because obviously like they gotta have like actual corporations in here yeah which dates the movie a bit well i mean how would they have done like ralph breaks disney yeah <laughs> how would that have worked oh like they could have basically just expanded on that whole like he goes to the disney website thing well yeah sure but i mean like that would have like you wouldn't have been able to do that without having like the internet there you know yeah yeah kind of sort of yeah like they wouldn't be able to like tie it into the lore of ralph or something like i get it yeah but like, I'm just saying, like, if they just, like, made it, if they just took that section of the movie and expanded out to almost yeah. the entire runtime, I would have loved it. I, I like, agree with that, yeah. But, I mean, again, it's the internet, so you gotta have, like, actual corporations. I'm glad they didn't, like, use actual YouTube and they used, like, their own, like... Like BuzzTube or whatever. Buzz, BuzzVids yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Like, I'm glad they did that. The only, like, actual corporation that was, like, central to the plot, not just a cameo, was eBay, which, you know, that one I doubt will go anywhere. Yeah. Like, maybe in a couple years, like, not a couple years, but, like, in a decade or two. I'm just saying, like, tying anything to, like, real-world corporations that not, like, aren't already, like, entrenched in pop culture. Like, like with video games, like, those games in the first movie were, like, were already iconic. Mm -hmm. Like, they're already, like, monuments. Like, Cubert, like, that's not going anywhere. Uh, Street Fighter, like, every, like, Street Fighter's gonna have a legacy. These corporations... Like Pinterest and Instagram and Snapchat, like we're not entirely sure if they're gonna like have a massive cultural footprint. They already do, but like in terms of like, decades to come. But that, that's just that's kind of my gripe with the movie. But again, it's Ralph breaks the internet. You can't really do that without having these major companies. In there. Yeah. Uh, like that's just kind of with the territory. You know, I think I think I might have to disagree with you there. I think I think those companies will change, and then those companies will be like absorbed and like bought by other companies, kind of like what Disney did with Marvel. But I don't, I don't think they're gonna like go away anytime soon. Oh, I doubt they're gonna know? go away. I'm just saying, like it dates it a bit. Like yeah, it are, definitely dates it. Yeah. Like are those companies gonna be around in 
so, 20 or so years. For example, Casey, think about this. Let's say a movie was made a couple years ago that uh, centered around MySpace. Alright, yeah, would fair. It, would, it, would it still hold up to Okay, but how long, how long was MySpace a thing, though? That, the, MySpace was a thing was for, like, what, a couple years? Right? Yeah. And then, like, and then you look at Google, you look at Facebook, and, like, those two companies have, like, already been a thing for, like, 10 years, you know? Well, here, here's the and thing. And then those, yeah. Internet's been around for about 30 years. Okay. Street Fighter, for example, also a cultural icon, has also been around for about 35 years. Same for, and like all those other video games in there have been around for even longer, Pac almost 40 years. Pac-Man, for example, Pong, like, those have like, longevity. Like longevity. Okay, These right. companies, most of the ones in there have been around for like five or less years. Right, yeah. But they've already, they've already made such a like big impact on like life True. and culture, like just in general. I think it's going to be one of those things where people will like reference it. So like the way you just yeah. reference MySpace, the same way that people reference, I don't know, like Atari or something. Friendster. Friendster, yeah. So I think- Which they I, even made a joke about that in the movie. Yeah, exactly. So even if, yeah, yeah, and you're right, it does date it a little bit as to like the peak of the, like what these companies are at. But like, I think, I don't think it's just going to like completely go away. You know what I mean? True. I think, I think they made True. enough of an impact. Just like, just on the globe, just in general, to where like, it'll be a thing later on, you know? Yeah, I maybe, it, maybe it's gonna be it's gonna be different for like it's gonna be different in 20, 30 years. It may not like be in existence. It may not still be running, but I think it's still gonna like like people will still reference it in the same way that they reference those things. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, I can see. That. Yeah, like I, I think a good example in the comparison here is that this movie didn't really make it obnoxious, mm -hmm. much like say the Emoji movie did. Yeah, like I the Emoji movie was like. It's like uh, almost entirely product placement. We've had we've had now because with the Emoji movie this year or last year? It was like was last year. year. I I was, I maybe it was two years ago. It can't have been. It was two years, years ago. Look it up. Because two years ago was Pixels. Yeah, kind. No, it wasn't. No, it was longer ago than that. Look it Emoji up. Emoji movie was last year, six, 17. Okay. Pixels yeah. Pixels might have been 2017. No, okay. Pixels, Pixels was definitely 2016. Pixels were 2016. Okay. 15. It was 16, 15. I just oh, pixels, oh, pixels? oh, Pixels, yeah, Pixels, yeah, yeah. I thought you were thinking about the Wait. The Emoji movie was last year, Pixels was 2015. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, if we look at it, we've now had two years where we've had three movies that are entire, almost entirely Easter eggs and references. Uh, we've had this, I would count Ready Player One in that big time. Yeah. And uh, now the Emoji movie. Now, the thing is, so uh, one of the movie reviewers I watch, he, his biggest problem with uh, Ready Player One was the fact that they banked so much on those references. And yeah, I there think, wasn't like a story to it. And I think that is something that we are getting, considering we've had three in the past two years, it's, it's, it's going to become more worrisome, I think, as people are going to start making movies just as references. Well, I, I think I might disagree with that a little bit. I mean, the... The, so with Ready Player One, it was all references to old things, you know, like not was, old things. I mean, like, like Overwatch was in there. Halo oh, was, was in there. okay, yeah. But I mean, I mean, but like the books was. I mean, there were, you have to admit there were a lot of things that referenced like previous things. You know, Batman was in that, and it came out two years ago. Oh, you're right. But Pac-Man. Wait, what? Batman. Oh, Batman. Okay, well, there's a lot of stuff. Well, yeah, sure. I mean, there's, sure, there's, there's a lot of stuff. Years. But I mean, like with. Um, but there was a lot of like Steven Spielberg stuff in there too. Like everything that they did. Because who directed it? Yes, I know. I'm He's just saying. Himself I'm just saying all the references they, that they made in Wreck It Ralph 2 have all been like like references to current things, you know? And I'm saying a lot of the stuff that's in um, Ready Player One is also the previous things, you know? And current things. And current things, sure, yeah. I, 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 I think I'm, the idea is that. I'm saying it's not a one to one comparison, is what I'm saying. The story itself doesn't rely on these references. Like with Wreck It Ralph 2. The story critical companies aren't real companies. There's sure. like knows more, which is a stand-in for Google. Yeah. When they could have used Google. Yeah. And then they also use that Buzz videos, like I was Buzz, saying, which, Buzz TV, yeah. which is a stand-in for YouTube. Slash yeah. Buzzfeed. But slash Buzzfeed. Like you have those, and even then, like if you just took out all the corporations in this movie, you could still have a decent movie. Yeah. They could replace every single one of the corporations there, except for maybe eBay. But you probably could have come up with some kind of you come up with analog. For yeah. Like yeah, like like in Toy Story, they don't have Toys R Us as a cameo. They have Al's Chicken Farm. So yeah. the question is, is would this movie have gotten as much? Uh, would this movie have gotten a good, as good of a grade from all three of us? Because and plus on Metacritic it has like a 71 about. Would it have gotten this that same grade had it not used all those references? I think Probably, so. Probably. Yeah. yeah. I would say so. Yeah. Because I don't think it would have. Especially as you saying, Brett, and I'm not necessarily just talking about the companies, I'm talking about any reference 
that'd be like Disney princesses, that would be like Pac-Man, that'd be Sonic, that'd be all that kind of well, stuff. Well, at that point, you're taking away from the... Yeah. You're taking away the identity of Rick and Ralph at that point. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's, yeah, that's kind the, of a null point. In my yeah, opinion. at that point, it's not really a Rick and Ralph movie. At that point, the movie literally wouldn't work. So, so I guess I guess to answer your question, no, it wouldn't have gotten a good grade. They, they but at the same time, it would have been a totally different they thing. They couldn't have really they made could, the movie at that they point. They could yeah. have made a video game movie, but taken out all the video games that were already established and tried to come up with their own. That their question is kind of nonsensical. At least in my opinion. If, if you're... Unless you're just phrasing it in a way I'm not quite getting it, I don't see what you're trying to say here you at think, all. You think, like... If you take out all those references, would the, would the movie still have been as good? And I'm saying... So, so, uh, so they take out all those references and they replace it with, like, with stuff like that BuzzTube website or that, like, Mr. Know-It-All yeah, similar like, things thing. like that. Similar where things like that to where it's just, like, similar things that are, like, kind of in... that are kind of similar to what you'd, like... I mean, I guess not, but I'm talking, yeah. like, in terms of the actual corporations. I'm, well, for the plot critical stuff. See, with... Okay. With, like, Ready Player One, it seems like... It was so in your face, and it was important to the plot that it was like in your face. Like for whatever reason, like yeah, it had to be the DeLorean or the Tron bike, or like I, well, they didn't really mention. Well, it was also very motorcycle. Well, with Ready Player One, it was also very dependent. Like I mean, that that's, that all stems from the book. Like there were a lot more like pop culture references in the book. It, but then again, the movie. pop culture culture references in the book were a lot bolder. Like it goes yeah. out of your way, like rub these in your face. Like yeah, I know what a cure is. Like but in Wreck It Ralph, it feels more like oh they had the Twitter birds and they had like that neat little scene where one tweets and then a million other ones do the same tweet so a retweet like okay that's kind of funny and they also like mention google and they like make fun of it. it's like oh it's a whole building full of goggles yeah i mean if you're taking if you're just thinking about those big corporations you take them out the movie would have still been as good in yeah my opinion. like they don't even like yeah. say the like the characters don't even say pinterest they just go to the building right and they swing around a giant pin right if you uh but if you take out all the references to anything that's not within that's not original within the movie then no, it wouldn't have been as good, but it also would have been an entirely different movie. Exactly. You know? Like, I, I, that's why the question at its core is just nonsensical. To yeah. Me. It's not about a score at that point. It's a matter of, would this still be the same movie? No. But, oh, hold up. And then, but back to the point of the movie. It was good. I probably wouldn't see it again in theaters. Like, that's just me. Yeah, probably like, same. I, I may just like if it's ever like online I may pick up like a cheap digital copy or you know just watch like the one couple scenes with the princesses over and over again and, like yeah. maybe a few of the other bits but like it's okay yeah, it's, I agree with that yeah. yeah if I'm with a group of friends and they want to watch it like yeah like at a place like yeah that's fine but I, again I probably wouldn't like want to, want to see it again yeah I wouldn't like seek it out yeah cool But I will say, with the referentiality, I think it's been going on for a while in pop culture it's anyway. because of Marvel. Not even because of Marvel. I would actually pin it more on Family Guy. Oh, uh, I, I think I would agree with that, yeah. Because, like that, well, I'm talking about in movies. In movies? In movies, I play Marvel the most because they have been the ones who will put, like, oh, look, this is a reference to this. Like, in Thor 1, they have the Infinity Gauntlet right. in the middle of the screen. Do they? Yeah. In Thor 1, it's the Infinity Gauntlet, and in... Captain America 2 and 1, it's the Captain, or not Captain America, in Iron Man 2 and 1, it's the Iron Captain America shield. Right, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But at least it's not references to outside properties that's still within the same universe. Yeah. I'm talking more like references to like outside properties that are just like, oh, okay, this is in here now, and it's rubbing it in your face. Like, obviously, like, you could probably, like, trace it way back, like, you could... One could make the argument that, like, Who Framed Roger Rabbit is, like, one of the first movies that does this. Like, oh, yeah. oh, look at these cartoon characters. Isn't it cool that they're in the background? But I'm talking more of the obnoxious side of it. Yeah. And I still firmly pin Family Guy on this. Because it's the one, it's, like, I feel it's the show that sold the, like, the masses on the fact that, oh, we are talking about this famous thing here for particularly no reason, and it's supposed to be funny. Like, that's, that's the show that sold that kind of humor. Mm -hmm. It's gotten popular, so now movies are trying to get in on that. Didn't The Simpsons do that, too? Kind of.
kind of, sort of. Like, I guess you could make the argument the Simpsons did it too, but with the Simpsons, they like they made, they kind of wove like wove their guests like references into the show itself. Like, for example, um, Aerosmith makes a reference, well, makes an appearance in season three, but they're there at the bar for whatever reason. But they also perform at the bar, and they like they make characters and dialogue and jokes about Aerosmith while there. Like, as opposed to, say, Family Guy, where they might make a joke about Steven Tyler and his drug habit, and it would just cut to Steven Tyler and his drug habit. Like, like they're not making any kind of comment on it. They're just... It's just there. It's just because. Yeah. Like, I, there's a video I watched, and I'll probably have you watch it, Quentin, because I thought it was pretty interesting, but... Like, uh... Or, I guess another show that you could talk about it that's like, this is Big Bang Theory where they'll just bring up scientific concepts, just bring up the name as if that's supposed to be funny, but they don't make any references about that concept. As opposed to Futurama, which is in this video I watched, where they bring up like a mathematical symbol and they'll make a joke about the symbol. Uh, I think the one they reference in the video is Aleph Null, which is supposed to be representative of infinity, where they have a Aleph Null Plex, where like the theater is supposed to have an infinity screen. The absurdity there is that no theater is gonna have an infinite number of movie screens. So it's like it makes a reference to that. That doesn't just bring it up. But eh, whatever. I'm just parroting a video a video I saw on YouTube. I'm not making any actual argument of my own. When you said that it, when you said that it reminded me of the the Toy Story short where like the two buddies and they're like the two toys and they're just like yeah, this can't even go beyond infinity. It's got as it is in science. Like yeah, that's yeah, pretty funny. Speaking of which, yeah, that trailer for Toy Story four was I thought it was a bit on the nose, but I, I liked it. I like for a while I was wondering if it was gonna be like an actual Toy Story four trailer if it's just like a DreamWorks picture or, like DreamWorks thing that they brought up and like a really rapid response to this Toy Story 4 reveal trailer and they were just like making fun of it like I don't I don't know man Maybe what do you mean like I thought it was like some kind of response trailer that a different theater put oh, out or no. a different like animation studio different oh, animation studio okay. put out like oh. in response to Toy Story getting revealed hmm. I don't know <laughs> oh, I need a water do I have water? I don't have water. You have Red Bull? I have a small amount of Red Bull. It's like 11.45. It's probably not the best idea. Oh, well. It seems bigger than like a regular can of Red Bull. It's, uh, it's 16 ounces. Or it's 12 ounces. Oh, the one? Really? Normally they're 8.4 ounces. Okay, yeah, that's... Yeah. Okay. Specifically 8.4. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I, not I believe, 8. I, I believe you. 8. You don't have to... You don't have to reiterate. 8. You don't have to reiterate it. Point four. I understand you. I never doubted you Casey? on that. Yeah. Can you tell me? Is it is it eight? Is point it just, four. Is it just eight? No, it's eight point four. I could have sworn you said it was just eight. No. It's eight. Point four. All right, but that, that's like eight, like what ounces or like fluid ounces? It's like, like more or less eight if you round down, but it, it's eight point four. So to be eight, exact. right? It's two significant figures. Two significant figures. Eight. Point four. All right, no got more, it, no got less. It, got it. Eight point. All right, got Eight it. Point so four. what's the second? What's the? So so is it like fluid ounces or is it? It's like, like fluid ounces. Ounce? Yeah. Okay. And what was that ever again? Eight point four. <laughs> get, get, just one more time, just to really drive it home. One more time. Eight. <laughs> Quinn, don't let me down. <laughs> what? It's eight. Huh? Point four. Okay. You let me down. <laughs> and this is twelve. That's twelve. Still two significant figures. Still two. Oh, so it's like zero eight and then one two. All right, I got it. Yeah, yeah. No, eight. <laughs> eight point, point four. what? Four. Eight, eight point four. four. Half of eight. Okay. It's four. Half of eight is four. Yeah. Yes. Eight point four. I don't really see how that's relevant though. Eight point four. Yes. But half have four peace? is two. And uh, then we just saw Wreck-It Ralph too. We'll see you yeah. guys next time.